Hi guys, um, my name is Kai BD. This is the first video in a two-part series teaching you how to use ImageJ to analyze pictures of lambda minor fronds and E. coli colonies using a colony counting assay. And in this first video, I'll be teaching you how to do so um, with E. coli. So the first thing you want to do if you haven't done so already is to go to this site. It's imagej.nih.gov slash ij slash download. And depending on what kind of computer you're working with, you're going to download either the Mac OS file or the Windows ImageJ file. So since I already have ImageJ downloaded on my computer, I'm just going to open it. Um, once you've downloaded the folder, it should look something like this. You'll just go into this folder and click on this application file called uh, ImageJ-164. And it'll open up a, a toolbar that looks like this. And the first step in the analysis is to open your image. So I have my image here already on my desktop. Um, it is my E. coli colony picture on an agar plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit File Open. It's on our desktop. We're just going to find it really quickly. We're going to open it using ImageJ. So once you have your image open, um, the next thing you want to do is highlight your region of interest. So in this case, since we have a little bit of background here, we're going to use the circle tool or the oval tool um, to highlight just um, the area in your image where you have your colonies. So just using your, your left mouse, you're going to drag and drop doesn't have to be perfect like on your first try. You can adjust your circle or your oval using um, these white boxes. And um, just a tip for, for later, I would um, do your best to exclude the edges because sometimes ImageJ can count those as colonies and we don't want that happening. So then you're going to go to your edit drop down bar, clear outside. That's going to make everything outside of um, your circle that you just created black. So we're just focusing on our colonies here. Next, we're going to change the type of image. So how to do this, we're going to go to image type, 16-bit, and that will convert um, our picture to grayscale, which will allow us to threshold it in the next step. And I'll explain what thresholding is. We'll go to image adjust threshold and what thresholding does it it allows you to select a certain region of your image um, that you want to analyze and using these two bars you can select more of your image or less of your image but in this instance we just want to select our colonies so i'm going to try to find um, a middle ground here think that looks good. Yep. Once you've thresholded your colonies, you're going to hit apply, and that's going to form a black and white image. And what you might notice at this step is that a couple of our colonies um, have kind of merged together, and, and that'll influence our final count number. So what we do here is we go to process binary and watershed. And what that command will do is, based on um, the size and shape of our threshold, um, it's going to segment our colonies um, into different chunks that we can count. So if you zoom in again using your magnifying glass, if you left click, that's to zoom in, right click is to zoom out, um, you'll see that now the colonies that were kind of merged before um, have been segmented. And now, we are able to go to Analyze, Analyze Particles, and this pop-up menu is going to show up. And what that does is allows us to specify a number of different parameters um, for our counting. So um, you'll see here um, our first parameter is size and pixels squared. So that allows us to um, exclude colonies of a certain size, and, and the second parameter is circularity. So here I have only count um, colonies that are size 10 pixels squared 
to 10,000 pixels squared. But you can adjust this based on um, how big your colonies are and how big your picture is. So it's different for everyone, and you should, you should definitely play around with this um, parameter. And what's really important about this step is that these three boxes are checked. Um, those are display results, clear results, and add to manager. And that basically, um, when we hit OK, um, two different um, pop-up menus are going to show up, and that's going to give us um, the final number of how many colonies are in our image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And what's going to happen is your image is going to get a lot of numbers on it. That's image J counting the number of colonies. And what you want to do at this step um, is use your magnifying glass and, and see, if you zoom in, um, if image J counted any colonies that you didn't want to be counting. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that a lot of these colonies that are counted are very small. And depending on your project, you may want to exclude um, these colonies, but it, it's it's a personal choice. It, it's up to um, it's up to you in the end if you want to include these or not. And what I'm also noticing here is that it counted um, some of the segments we had on the edge of the image. So let's say I decide that um, my analysis wasn't done as accurately as I would have liked it to be done, because I included too many of the small colonies, and I counted things that actually weren't colonies on the side of the dish. But what I could do um, at this point, which is really easy, is just take my circle tool and, and do the analysis over again. You don't have to start from the beginning. So let's say, take my circle tool, and I exclude the colonies that image J counted on the edges, right? Go like this. Again, hit edit, clear outside. So now that I've resized my region of interest, I can go back to analyze, analyze particles. And since before I said that we counted um, colonies that were a little too small, I could increase this to a minimum of 50 pixels. I'll just run it again. So this might pop up, you can just hit no. That just means that it'll, it'll discard your past analysis. And I'll open up a new one, which says that we have around 1,068 um, colonies. So again, we're going to zoom in. We're going to see if we like how the analysis was done. And what we can also do, file open, is open up the original image and put them side by side, compare them. Bring this over there. I can use my magnifying glass tool. I can zoom in here. I can say, okay. Do I want this one to be counted? That that corresponds with this one right there. You can say, okay, that counts as a colony. And it's just up to you at this point to decide um, if you're okay with how the analysis was done. And if you think that this number, 1068, um, is an accurate representation of how many colonies that you've had. Thank you for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, watch the second video in this series teaching you how to um, use the same colony counting procedure um, to count the number of lambda minor fronds. And um, yeah, thank you.